loud. <laughs> Get the camera out. As we do for you people. Dude, as it starts getting worse. <laughs> oh my god. Ungrateful shit. We're gonna die. Dude, we gotta cut that out. Leave it in. Alright. What's up, guys? Sock Squad here. <laughs> it's raining like a motherfucker. We're on our way to Watsonville. Um, uh, oh shit. I don't know if you can actually hear me. <laughs> Alright, sorry to die. Like and subscribe if you can hear us. We <laughs> <Please. laughs> got from our ARG, which was a big hit. Shout out to all you who showed up. And now we're actually going to play on this one. For, what was it, the Easter extravaganza? Yes. yes. Uh, like angel feather and an egg. Some like Chrono Dran or some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, Chrono Dran. Uh, I think I might flip it if I, if I win. Anyways. <laughs> nah. I'm a little fat. We're gonna go around and, and uh, see what everyone's gonna play today. We're gonna start with Bead over here. Uh, I decided to go with Gears, more on control base, and uh, Titanic. I've been doing pretty well with it, so I'm uh, pretty much okay with that. You didn't hear him over the radio, he said Gears. Gears, yeah. Playing cancer. <laughs> Alright, Ryan, speak up loud. Alright. I'm playing uh, Henry and Watson. Oh god. Uh, which is one of my first time ever. <laughs> yeah, really sir. Really. Yeah, sir. This first time I'm actually playing the deck, right? Yeah. For the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it ever. It can be top eight, bad. God damn it. That puts more pressure on you. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jack. All Matless. Right. <laughs> so I'm not doing prisms. I'm doing Sanctuary. With Hey guys, let's play better decks today. Sweet. Fucking tier one meta. Just play OTT, right? Yeah, so I'm playing OTT because I like playing garbage. I like playing hot garbo. It's fun. No, 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 no. I'm not playing. Please. Uh, I'm playing. I don't know. I was gonna play Night Rose, right? That was the plan. But I got my fourth Dimax in. <laughs> oh, so I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I think it depends on how many people show up. Justice. Yeah, this, if there's not too many people, I'll probably play Justice. Or if there's someone that I want to beat, I'll play Night Rose. Oh, so we'll see. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, we make it. Yeah, hopefully, we're we make, make it through all this. <laughs> Alright, she's out. Yeah. Just finished eating. Most of us. Perfect song that plays in the background. <laughs> no, no more copyrights. <laughs> we're gonna get our deck list out and we're gonna head over there. We got like a solid go like. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. This is Jack's voice. Can you guys see us? Of course. We're walking over to the tournament right now. Hopefully, it's a big turnout. Of course, there's like nobody here. It's actually never. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, what's up? What's up? Oh. What's up, guys? Sack Squad here. Uh, end of the third round. Um, play Night Rose. So I had to go that way. I'm 3-0. Two one. Two one, two one, two one. Well, I gave this guy the win. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate this guy. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in playoffs. What's up, guys? Let's like squad here. Uh, I went undefeated. We're doing deck checks now. So that's Jelly Man and Jackass. So oh, he's playing Fenrir. How does a buy get in? But Jack's playing Sanko. How's it feel, Jack? How's it feel getting the first match? I mean, it feels good. Given everything today. But Doesn't matter. You won a match. Congratulations. <laughs> Alright, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs> What's up, guys? Sack Squad here. About the, the fucking, triggered video. The yeah. triggered video. Holy I'm gonna try all this fucking off ramp. <laughs> so we just take all your motherfuckers with me. <laughs> just finished our ARG. Oh god. Um, 
It was a small turnout. Let's let's be fair. Yeah, there was only 15 people, so I mean, you're gonna die, bitch. <laughs> it wasn't a big turnout, and we'll start there. Like we're kind of disappointed the numbers. Like, okay, that's fine. Where do we want to start? Okay, so let's start off with placement. So, um, I was first place. I went undefeated. Jack was fifth place with X1. Wait, first? Yeah. You got first? Yeah. I was undefeated. I thought anyone. Yeah, anyone. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about like before, like cut off. Oh. Yeah, right. and then uh, <laughs> Ryan was seventh. Yeah, seventh. Yeah, seventh. So we all went out to the counter. We all thought we were getting mats. Turns out that Gamers Den in Watsonville decided to buy a hundred dollars one. Man. Yeah, they, they decided to get a cheap one and save money, and it only came with four mats. After advertising on their Facebook page that they were going to have eight mats. As standard for most of As standard, yes. So we we all thought we were gonna get mats and they decided, oh no, only top four is gonna get mats. So disappointed a whole bunch of people, made the entire top eight take a picture, even though they only had four mats, and which was stupid. Which was four people were holding up a piece of paper says I got an invitation to Philadelphia. I'm like awesome. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much getting fucking thrown in the dumpster because it was gonna be pencil thing. Yeah. So then, uh, what else happened? Oh, and then they give out, they were going to give out a pack for everyone who placed five through eight. And I got upset because uh, Silver Circuit says that you have to have a $250 payout. And if they were going to charge $25 a pop at a 15 man tournament, you know, you better be giving some of that, that back to the players. to make sure that they had a $250 buyout or payout. Um, you know, they kind of fixed it. At minimum. At minimum. Like, they still didn't hit 250 but, you know, that's besides the point. At least they, like, made it a little bit more. With boxes of Trinity Dragon with, like, what, GBT-03? Something like that. Yeah, they should have given up more packs. At least. Or at least have, like, uh, a variety of packs. Instead of a map, they just have an extra pack. Yeah. Well, it, it was even one through five. One through five got a pack. Like, or six, seven, and eight. Got a pack. What? No, it was top eight. Everybody in top eight got a pack. Did they? I got, I guess, I got two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They upped it up to two packs, so they doubled up. So that's oh, saying, shit. Well, they should have got a pack <clears throat> normally, but then instead of a map, we got an extra pack. Yeah. I got my two packs. You made like, I got nothing, nothing back in terms of your, your uh, buy -in. Definitely not worth the $25, I'll tell you that. Like, you should have been a free tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get, we get more at 316. Shout out to 316. Yeah, you guys are the best. You the best. best. Um, so then, only I got to play. Top four, I played against Duatama. I lost because... Like they bound my my grade two, so I wasn't able to do the skills. And then, you know, of course, night rose chokes at the end, and I don't get night rose. So I have the GSS for night storm. Well, that, that's fun. Um, so yeah. So then I got knocked out. So top four, literally, went undefeated all day. Lost one match, and I got four packs. God bless. Uh, so yeah, Gosh, overall it was a pretty disappointing day. 100 bucks down from the whole team, and we get one med and eight packs. So we're feeling like winners. And the other day we would have walked away with three mads. Yeah, help go. No. Shit, I think we went to three three one six and <laughs> did a boxing in there. Real man. Like <laughs> so dumb. Like, um, again, again, to be fair, yeah, it's a low turnout, but it's the bricks. Sex Squad tip number one. Call the tournament location and verify what prizes they're giving out. Dude, they would have said though. They would have said, oh, we got eight mats. Or like, it's be very insistent of like, what's included in that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Or just, you know, we can own four tournaments. Because ours went for Yeah, since ours went so well, we're probably going to host more. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, I don't know, Feed might go. Are you going tomorrow? Pete's probably gonna go tomorrow, so check out for his vlog, maybe. Uh, depending. 
<laughs> All right, so if he wins, he'll vlog and talk about it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Anything else, guys? No. no. Uh, All right. You uh, have a bad yeah, because I have a little bad tournament. It was run pretty poorly. Uh, stick around for more batch videos. Uh, we might do some deck profiles on on our decks because you know, aside from the tournament, I felt like the deck ran, ran pretty well. How about you guys? We all know you guys want those tank guard deck profiles. Yeah, everybody needs a tank guard profile. <laughs> and then Jellyman with his. That is someone super triggered. Wiseman Garbo. You're gonna die, bitch! <laughs> Go, bro, start recording. God damn it. Go, bro, stop. What's up, guys? Um, Coach here from Sas Squad. Just giving you an ARG wrap up on our Easter extravaganza. Here's the uh, top four placement mat. And I'm um, just gonna do a quick rundown on the Night Rose deck, which I piloted. I'm gonna go over it pretty quick because it's been around for a while and it's been topping pretty pretty well in Japan, not so much in the United States. I think it's because it's really uh, pilot dependent, so if you make you misplay, then you can be in some deep doo doo. Uh, I have two starters, uh, Grenache and Peter. Uh, depends on the matchup, but normally I go into Peter for consistency. Because I run uh, four night rows and two night storm, I run six grade threes because I have to ride into night rows. <clears throat> I can't remember the last time I lost a match where I rode night rows twice. <laughs> Normally, it's because like I, I ride night night storm or G assist for it or something like that. So once Rummy Labyrinth comes out, <clears throat> that should fix a lot of the problems of the deck. Uh, run two serpents, three lazy, three rook, and four cannoneer. Um, pretty standard setup. I, I know like people like to run four lazies, but I think three is a good number. I like two serpents. I I might cut like a cannoneer for another serpent, just cause he's uh, so free. And then the staple for negro bone. Uh, four strike for because you only run six great three. Four on flipping PGs and two bales. Uh, this is a really good tech card. Uh, Sax card is mostly based in the Bay Area, Northern California, but our, our teammate Hebby, he plays uh, Night Rose 2 and he tops a lot in SoCal, so it's kind of like, you know, well known that Night Rose tops and in both Southern and Northern California, it's, it's proven to be that. Uh, moving on, triggers, four heals, eight crit, four of them being Banshee is super broke. This is pretty good, sometimes it's clutch. And then Mick to do the, the final combo at the end, where you like cycle back the sand trigger. If you guys want to know more about the deck and like how it functions and the combos, uh, leave a comment down below and then either Heavy or I can go over it. And then strides, one sea breeze. I use that once. Uh, one a gleam. Very rarely do I use that. Same with the screw. I only use the screw for like the Diablo matchup. Um, two deep sea corpse something something dragon. Uh, he's like the go-to one if you don't use this. If you don't use Lily. <clears throat> um, and then. One Obadiah, you can change it to like two. I run six um, G Guard, which is kind of a lot. Like you can cut a dragon or you can cut a gleam for it for more more strides. And then one blue heart, blue hearts for like that final combo with the stand trigger. Uh, you can, so you can call out two more stands. One on hit. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really matter what you go into at a certain point. Like all you want to do is like 
have Negro Bone and all these other guys to like do combos and stuff. Uh, I have two Night Rose just in case. Just in case you write Night Storm. And then, like, uh, she's a good finisher every once in a while. But then, like, the MVP is. Uh. Gouache? Gouache? I don't know how to pronounce this name. I, I think in Japan it's like Gash. This is like way cooler. Um. So, yeah, he's like. He's like my first try to get GB2. And then, like, you use him at the end. You can use him in the middle of the game. Like, <laughs> like you can just go to him all the time. So. You have to like manage your resources really well with the soul, which is it's really fun. This deck is really fun to play. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a recap on the ARG itself, you can watch our other video, or you can, or I'm not too sure if we're gonna have it together. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.